Good afternoon, world's greatest students. It is time for your end of the week announcements. I just wanted to get on here again and just let you know how much we miss you. I have heard that the seniors are missing my jokes, so I'll make sure to add a joke at the end here. Um, there, were, there were a lot of things that I was really looking forward to this spring. One of the biggest ones was my family every year, we get excited about the spring musical and we sit in the front row and we have a lot of just really good memories with laughing and, and seeing our students up on stage. The concerts, the spring sports seasons, those are always a joy. Um, you're getting cheated out of that and that's not fair. I feel really bad about that. Um, you know, the basketball, the boys basketball season, that's something that I, I still keep thinking about. I know, I just know we would have won that section final game with the way our, our team had, had, had been playing and seeing the way the crowd was, that section semifinal game, uh, that's the best crowd I've ever seen in my life. So i um, really bummed about some of these things that we're missing this spring, but we have to keep our heads up and, and make the best of it. Our governor was giving us a message yesterday, and I think a lot of you already heard, but we will be not coming back to school physically, and we will be continuing distance learning through the end of the school year. It was really fun. A couple days ago, we were able to see our seniors come and pick up their caps and gowns, and that was a positive for staff. I think it was as well for the students, but um, it was a mental health thing. We were missing students so much, and when you drove through and we got to smile and chat with you for five seconds, that really meant the world to our high school staff. Uh, with distance learning, I just want to let you know a couple things. First off, I have asked our teachers to dial back expectations. It's really easy to get overwhelmed with distance learning, and that's not the goal. Our goal is to pick a few of the most important standards, and that's what our teachers should be focusing on. With grading, I want to let you know that there was a lot of thought that went into how we're going to grade. Um, that was not an easy decision, but we will be grading second semester pass incomplete. And what that means, um, well, first let me tell you why. The reason we're going to grade pass incomplete instead of A through F is, first of all, equity. When you think about when you're all in school, you all have internet. Um, you all have seven teachers there to support you each hour throughout your day. When you're at home, some of you have internet, some of you don't. Some of you have uh, a parent who's very involved and knows how to support you. Some of you do not have that. Um, I was that dad today. I have a fifth grade son and he, had, he was doing Study Island and he had to get, he had 10 questions and it was all about prepositional phrases. And I have no idea what a prepositional phrase is. I Googled it and I, I tried to help him and we just, we kept getting these questions wrong. I was, I was really frustrated as a parent. Um, so some of you have that support at home and some of you don't, and it's just not equal. So we are, we are not um, going to grade A through F. One of the big reasons is equity. A second reason is, just to be honest with you, this is really new for all of us. None of us are good at it yet. Uh, our teachers are trying their best, but they're not experts. You are not experts at distance learning at this point. And like I talked about me as a parent, your parents want to support you through this time, and a lot of them just don't know how. Um, what, what is pass and complete going to mean? There's going to be a chunk of time, and I don't know when it is. It might be in June. It might even be in September. But those of you who aren't able to get your work assessed, that's going to happen. So you might be at an incomplete, and I don't want you to lose a ton of sleep about it, because once that teacher is able to look at your work and determine that you mastered those standards, that incomplete will turn to a pass. Our goal is not to fail anybody. Uh, but I will tell you, if you do nothing, if you're checked out right now and you decide it's summer break, then you will fail. That is completely unacceptable. So pass, not pass fail, pass incomplete. The incomplete will turn to either a pass or a fail. Um, and the reason for that is right now we're not able to grade everybody's work. 
couple more points before I hang up here for the weekend. First off, I just want to let you know there is free Wi-Fi in our elementary parking lot. Actually, two of the lots, the, the main parking lot and the bus drop-off parking lot. All you need to do is, if you're in a vehicle or maybe you bike there, um, you're just going to go to MPS, More Public Schools, and then just click Accept, and you can use that Wi-Fi free. Another new thing, homework help at moreschools.org. If you have questions with schoolwork and you're, you're not able to figure it out, obviously go to your teacher first. If that if they're not available and, and that's not working, please feel free to use homework help at moreschools.org. That's an email address available for you. I hope you've been enjoying the Terrence Tally videos that I've been sending out. I think I shared four so far, and there's one more coming. If you're an upperclassman, you remember Terrence. He was a guest speaker we had in our auditorium a few years ago. Very, very good. Um, I actually want to try to get him to come back here. So hope you enjoy those videos. This is a question I received. Is school required? I think I already mentioned this. If, if you decide to check out for summer break now, you will fail all of your courses. That is not acceptable. Absolutely, school is required until the last day, which for seniors, your last day is Friday, May 22nd. For kindergarten through 11th grade, uh, your last day will be Thursday, June 4th. If you're 18, there is a referendum going on right now. Early voting does take place in the district office, and that's from 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. You can also use absentee ballots and uh, vote right from your home. I would go to Mustangs United. It's uh, mustangsunited.org. That website will answer any questions you have. It lets you know what happens if you vote yes, and it lets you know what happens if it's a no vote. Um, and then, of course, May 12th, that Tuesday at City Hall, from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., that will be the actual day of the vote. Graduation. This is a question I'm getting a lot of. Um, what will graduation be like? When's it going to be? What? Right now, Mr. Jacobson, he is our graduation advisor. He and Nancy Evans and myself are meeting regularly, and we can't make a decision right now because we need some more guidance. But the plan is there will be a graduation for sure. We don't plan on not having one. We just don't know what it will look like yet. In the next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to be asking seniors to come on and do a Google Meet with me so that we can talk about some of the ideas we have for graduation. But I do want to show this off since I'm wearing it and it looks so good on me. These are the new stoles. These are what the seniors will be wearing at graduation. Um, if you know Patty Miller or Patty Miller's mom, please thank them. They uh, paid for these for us, and they really turned out sharp. So your homework and a joke, and I'm out of here. Uh, first, your homework. I need you, by the end of the day, whenever you're watching this video, you need to send two very sincere compliments to people. Um, the first one you're going to send it to, I want you to pick someone you haven't talked to in the last month. You haven't snapped them. You haven't texted them to someone. They're going to get a very sincere compliment out of the blue, a very random one. The second one I want you to do to someone you haven't talked to in over a year. You're really going to be delighted when you find out what happens after you send these. And your joke for the end of the week here, why do so many people from Mora send their money to banks in Ireland? Wait for it. Wait for it. Because it's always Dublin. Go Mustangs. <laughs>